What is up YouTube? It's your boy James and today I'm going to be doing a mail time. I've got uh, three different packages here. Three package mail day. I know one's a uh, Twitter purchase. One is a trade and I have no idea what the third one is. Maybe it's a buy from Reddit. Maybe it's a buy from eBay. Maybe it's a trade. I completely forgot the name doesn't uh, sound familiar so I guess we'll just hop into it. So the first one, I believe this one was a, oh gosh, which one was this? I think this one was a buy from Twitter. Guy was just selling all of his old cards that he wanted to get rid of. And he had some uh, good stuff that I wanted, so. Let's see here. Ah, it does, this is from Twitter. Star Lord. So this one's nice. He's got the painter tape on it. Appreciate that. Always want to go with the painter tape. Easier than scotch tape to remove. And of course, it's a Colt car. You know how I am. All right, so we got a Naheem Hines from Origins out of 25. So that'll focus. Eight out of 25, Naheem Hines. Rookie patch. Nice, nice. And then we've got my boy, Marlon Mack. Rookie threads. This will be my third. One, two, three. Uh, Marlon Mack patch card. I just love him as a running back. He's really good. And he showed it again against the Cowboys. Running for a buck thirty-nine. Two TDs. Just tore him up. So that was really cool. Um, this one, I guess we'll get into the mystery package next. I've got uh, zero idea. So I guess maybe once I see the first card, I'll uh, get a better understanding of what this is. Give it a good cut at all. There we go. Fat stack here. Uh, still doesn't ring any bells. Painters tape again. With the double cardboard. This is as secure as it can get right here, which is a cardboard sandwich. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Oh, okay. Yeah. I know what this is. This is uh, from my boy Chris G613. Y'all might know him as uh, as Chris G6113. Uh, as from uh, YouTube. This is his uh, card there. Pretty big YouTuber. This is n He's a very nice guy. He's a Bills fan, as you can tell from here. He said, uh, thanks for the deal. Hope you like the extra luck. Hmm. You throwing an extra one there for me? He sure did. He sure did. He threw in a die cut luck. Nice. This is numbered uh, 73 out of 249. It's my fan in the background, sorry. Let's take off that tape and look at that beauty. Orange Luck Die Cut, 249. From Prism. That is nice. That is nice. I'll throw in this little card up here. You can go in front of Marlin. So this is from Chris G613. Very nice guy. And then we've got a Rookie Threads. 
from uh, Optic, Darius Fountain. He's been following me around, Darius has, so I figure I might as well start a PC of him. Plus, he's got a wonderful name. His last name is Fountain, or Fountain, who knows. Wide receiver from Northern Iowa, 6'1", 210. Doris Fountain. Nice. And then we've got a Dion Kane first down. 95 of 99. Uh, nobody knows who Dion Kane is except for diehard Colt fans. Uh, basically, this man has a lot of hype coming into the season. And then he uh, tears his ACL in the training camp. But if you think about it, Colts really need a number two receiver, and a lot of people just think that this guy is it. So I'm going to start cashing in on his cards while he's still hurt, and nobody knows his true value. Then we've got a Stargazing from Playoff, Le'Veon Bell. I needed this one. Uh, I feel like the Stargazing ones are going to be a little harder to find in Playoff because you all know I'm on that uh, set collection hunt. So there's that. And then we got Marcus Davenport, rookie card auto. Marcus Davenport uh, went to UTSA. Let's see if it says it here. Yeah. Get in there. Focus. Focus. There we go. Uh, UTSA, University of Texas at San Antonio. Um, Y'all know I collect San Antonio players, and this guy's one of them. First round. I think it was top 10 pick, so. Nice, nice. And then our boy, Big Q, from Playbook. Is this one numbered too? Not numbered. Doesn't look like it. But hey, a Big Q auto. Man, let me show you a face, Big Q. Yeah, there he is. Best guard in football already as a rookie. It's nice to get. It's a big Q. So that's going to do it for uh, Chris G. His card's got some shine to it, so that's pretty cool. Uh, follow him on Instagram or go check out his YouTube channel if you don't already. He does some basketball, he does some football, but mostly football, but he'll do basketball every once in a while. So appreciate the extra luck, Chris. Nice guy. And this one is a trade from Kevin Lau. Really, really wanted one of his cars that he has. And I think it was a more than fair enough deal. Uh, thanks for the trade. Sorry for all the tape. I hope none of the cards were damaged. Keep up the great work, Kevin. I would rather you give the effort and put some other tape than not give the effort. So, no complaints here, Kevin. He's got a filler card in there, too. Good protection. If anything's damaged, it wasn't your fault. Looks like it's sealed up pretty good. Oh, yeah. This thing is sealed up good. There's no way any of these cards were damaged. Alright, gotta have to pull out the knife on this one. Careful here. Let's see if that's enough to get through. Oh, goodness. Ay ay ay. Alright. This tape's getting on my fingers and whatnot. Excuse the delay. But this is a little challenging. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, we've got a breakthrough here. All right, I think we are good to go. Let me just get this other filler card off of here. If I end up giving a scratch on the top loader, I guess that's all right. Let's put it in a new one. One card is this, uh, we got two cards here. Hardwood Pioneers, John Havlicek from Threads, and a Bill Russell from this year's Hoops. Nobody likes Big Bill. Then we've got a tip-off from April 24th, 2016, Hawks at Celtics. we got a Mir Johnson there. Is that Al Horford he's going against? It looks like it. We've got Al Horford right there, future Celtic. Jonas Jerebko current warrior we've got who's that looks like Kent Bazemore he's still with the Hawks and Paul Millsap there looks like he's with uh, Denver I think he just got hurt though recently so sorry to hear that we've got John Havlicek from Optic Hall Kings it's pretty nice and then the one I've been waiting for the main attraction once I get off this other top loader, not top loader, filler card, or the filler cheese, as some call it. Ah, definitely just poked myself there. Be more careful. Thanks. Alright, so we got this Gordon Hayward, player of the day, uh, out of 75 there, from Panini, promo card, that's nice, very nice. Let's see, I see a Jalen Brown here, but there's not another top loader, maybe it's... Well, here's the one. Kyrie Irving relic from Status. That's amazing to me. I love me some Kyrie. It's sweet. Uh, let's see what we can do about this Jalen Brown card. Okay, so there's Jalen Brown from Hoops. We got Mikhail Bridges, Faces of the Future. Needed that one for my set. Thank you, sir. We got Mikhail. That's all right. We'll get some tape on that. So we got Mikhail from, uh, what is this? Skybox? Yeah, Skybox. What year is this? 1990. All star jersey there. Then we've got Jalen Brown from Contenders. The main attraction, like I said, is this Kyrie. Oh, this is a beautiful card. So thanks again, Kevin. Uh, I'll try and link his uh, channel in the description. I'll go subscribe to Kevin. He's a nice dude. Uh, that's going to do it for this mail time. Got plenty of uh, PC stuff for this, so uh, y'all have a good one.